Do you need a little reminder about that court order? It's just a piece of paper. Crumple it up, it's gone. And if I call the cops? They like to enforce little pieces of paper like that. Go ahead, call them. By the time they get here, I'll already be home with AJ. They'll need an army to get him out. I'll bring an army on my own, not to mention the fact that if you do that, you are going to prove to the world and every custody judge in it the kind of man you are. Now, maybe I can stop you today. Maybe I can't. But I will give Caleb the whole lowdown. And, honey, he is going to rain hellfire down on you in your custody case. Hellfire? Yes. From a mountain? Boy, I'm shaking. <laughs> you should be. You tell my son I'll see him soon. You tell him I see him real soon. But that was my money to begin with. You combined it with your husband's. So the feds have every right to freeze it. Well, my daughter and I are going to be freezing on the streets if we can't use our own money. I mean, I didn't, I didn't steal anything. I didn't confess to any crime. So why, why can't you just get one of my credit cards back? I already explained this to you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so unfair. Do you want a drink? You might as well, because at least this has all been paid for. Oh, my God. Okay, well, there's got to be a way that we can fight this, right? Uh, at the moment, um, you know, you can't even pay my bill. <laughs> so what, what, that's it? You're just going to walk out on me? What kind of a lawyer are you? I need money to survive. My daughter and I are not going to have a home soon. I'm not going to live here for much longer. So, and my, my daughter's a complete emotional wreck. And now you're seriously going to talk to me about a paycheck? Get out of this house. I mean it. Get out of this house. Hey. Hi. Hi. Looks like a, a party in here. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Oh, cookies. Yeah? You baked? The babysitter. Oh. I gave her a, an extra tip. Oh. oh, okay. That's 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 good. <laughs> All right. Well, they they seem to be doing just fine. Uh, when I uh I I thought World War III was about to break out when I got the phone call. That's why I raced home. Oh, yeah, well, apparently, uh cookies uh they, they helped a, a little peace treaty. Oh, peace treaty. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, well, you know, I'm going to have to try one then to make sure, okay? Yes, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? This could be responsible for world peace. I think the mm. world would be better. If well, I think I better try one then. Uh, yeah. In that case. Yeah. Yummy. Mm. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, um, I got to sit. <sighs> So, um, <laughs> so are Gabs and Ian still down for their nap? I like angels. Hmm. You're home early. I thought fusion would keep you late. Yeah, I, uh, delegated. Uh, is it crazy? With Greenlee's murder trial starting today, the PR department was handling lots of media calls. I reassured more than a few buyers that Fusion would weather the trial and the outcome in our usual style. Well, until Greenlee is acquitted, all we can do is maintain. Yeah. How did it go at the trial? Oh, Liza's a witch, as usual. But Jack is doing everything he can to spring Greenlee. Well, until Greenlee is fine, Fusion in flux is beginning to be a way of life. Tell me about it. <laughs> oh. Have you uh, heard back from Zach? Uh, this conversation might actually require another cookie. Let's um, let's break some more cookies, shall we? <laughs> yeah. I um yes. I I made the phone call. I told him that I missed him and that I want him to come home. And I'm still waiting to hear back from him. Well, he'll call. Yeah. What about you? How are uh, uh, things better with Reese? Uh, here is her big project. I just broke ground. That. Wow, that's that's cool. That looks like um, that looks like sticks, actually. <laughs> it's gonna be this amazing live workspace. It's tray contemporary. It's tray green. 
And it's right in the middle of the 7th arrondissement. That's cool. Uh, that still doesn't answer the question that I asked about the two of you. Well, we are uh, still working on some issues. <laughs> the girls miss her a lot. I wish she was here, too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wait, wait, really? Did you just hear that? <laughs> Did you just hear Spike? Okay, hold on. Wait. Hold. I, gotta, I gotta get my cell phone. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get this. Are you recording it? Yes, I'm recording this. This is a very big moment. This is, you don't understand, Spike never laughs like this. He always plays by himself. And Okay. Hey, Spikey, you having fun over there? Yeah? You having a good time? It looks like it. This is, this is what we've missed being away from here. <laughs> this place brings out the best in the boys. Which is exactly why Zach needs to be here. Hello, Miss Kane. Hello, Counselor. Now, you have testified that you and the defendant have been at odds across the years. Yes, we have. And that even when you were jointly running Fusion, there was a certain air of competitiveness, is that correct? Yes. So is it safe to say that you would not be disposed in her favor when it comes to Osei comments about her character? That would be absolutely correct. Do you consider Greenlee an intelligent woman? Yes. Naive about relationships? <laughs> not at all. Did she ever tell you that she loved David Hayward? Yes. Like many people, I was surprised at first, but... Over the course of time, I could see how strong their relationship was. Do you have any personal knowledge of David Hayward blackmailing Greenlee over something she might have done to you? No. I was, frankly, out of town enjoying a perfectly lovely pre-wedding honeymoon. Yes. Ms. Kane, would you just answer the question directly? No. I have no personal knowledge of David Hayward blackmailing Greenlee. Can you describe your relationship with David Hayward? He helped my daughter Bianca through a very difficult time. And he saved my daughter Kendall's life. But right before he died, no, I cannot say that we were friends. Because I believe that it was David Hayward who sabotaged the plane I was on that crashed. So there was some animosity between you. To tell you the truth, I think you would be hard-pressed to find one single person in this entire town who didn't want David dead. Objection, Your Honor. Listen, I need you to uh, get the docs in order for tomorrow and go pull the case files. Got it. And get me an energy drink, whatever has the most caffeine in it. How about a burger? No, just get me the drink. All right, make it a six-pack. Any questions? No, no. Okay, then why are you still here? You were great on that stand. Not my first time in court. Oh, and well, I know that. <laughs> that was very entertaining. It was witty, it was clever. It was everything I would expect from America Kane. So glad I was entertaining. Just getting started, Jack. Bully for you, Liza. I liked her so much better when she was just chasing everything in pants. So you made it through day one, huh? Yeah, maybe. But if I were on that jury, I'd still have some serious doubts about me, too. Oh, it was, it was a long day. You're just tired, that's all. I'm worried. And not just about me. You never used to worry. You, you were always sure that life would turn out your way. Listen, about what happened earlier, you know, that kiss. It's going to be great, Greenlee. Everything is going to be great. I promise you, okay? You okay? I'm fine. That lawyer's an idiot, and Emma got me upset. I know. Everything is crazy right now. I'm trying to make our kids understand what's happening. If there's anything that you I need. told you I don't want anything from you. And wipe that pity off your face. You know, you don't have to do this alone. I will make it work. I'm sure you will. I told you to stop it with the fake sympathy. It's not fake. I care about what happens to you. I don't have time for this, okay? 
I need to figure out what to do next. <sighs> Emma hates me right now. Maybe she would be better off with Ryan, but if that's even possible. Why wouldn't it be? A at least until you find a place to stay. I'll be out of here soon. I've already been here too long. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. 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 I've dreamed of this. Bert. Our kids playing together, <laughs> growing up together. You probably think it's crazy I got so excited about Spike laughing like that. Oh, no, no, we all want our kids happy. Man, I just wish, I wish Zach was here so he could see how good this is for the boys, especially Spike. Oh, he's just doing so great mm. with the cochlear implant. He's amazing. Oh, I know. I mean, that's, that's, that's just it. For months on, on the boat, Zach and I, we couldn't get Spike to do his therapy. He just did not want to do it. Mm. It was like he didn't care about communicating anymore. He, he actually started to withdraw. Now this, this right here, this is what Spike <laughs> needs. He needs to be around kids his own age and uh, learn how to interact socially yeah. and be around family. Well, he has definitely got to play as well with others now. <laughs> Miranda just loves him. I'm just so happy to see him like this. I just think it's so great. I just... I wish Zach were here. I wish he could know how, how good this is for the boys. And he could come home and just give this place a chance. Can I... Uh, can I get a scotch, please? Rocks? Meat. Water back. You got it. Uh, actually, uh, make it a double and hold the water. Oh, I'd love a double scoop of that. <laughs> <laughs> With a side of more, please. Yeah. <laughs> if we're being too loud, I'll tell these tools to bring it down. Mm, that's okay. Somebody should be having fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, we suck at football, but we're pretty good at having fun. Yeah, we are. You can join us if you want. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. Why not? Why not? To, uh, to fight. To fight. Cheers. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs>